uh, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm just going to be showing you how you can do camber and how to change the traction of your wheels. Or basically, change the grip of your wheels to either drift or grip. So, yeah, by the way, uh, the old chassis, I can't find them for some reason, don't know where it's gone, but um, it doesn't really matter, so anyways, let's get, let's just start, okay, so let's start with camber, so what you want to do is have your explorer open, you want to go down to your chassis, drop that down, and then you want to double click the A chassis tune screws, well, there's a module screw, but yeah. I'm gonna go to one little one. Uh, let's see. Um, here we go. One should be better. Let me just do the exact same thing. So just double click on the A chassis tune. Here we go. Should look a little bit like this, hopefully. Um, so you should um, go down here. And you should see something that upon the lines of 19 and 20, you should see tune F camber and tune R camber. It may not actually be on those lines, but it should be at least these two things here. So to ch change your camber, obviously you need to change the number here. I'm going to change it to like, I don't know, 5 on both of them. You can change them independently so I'm gonna set this one to four maybe. Let me set that one to three actually. So rear three and five is five well back at the front okay I, I am I can't speak to him. Rear is three or minus three. If you if you want it to go inwards um you do minus numbers if you want to go it out and have it go outwards higher numbers or plus numbers. Okay, so now I have changed camber just to show it works. Let me hit play here. Okay, and yep, what? Let me just change the game to R6. So now I'm doing a lot, but okay, maybe. Yeah, you should use to be able to change games to this without being polished. But anyways, now let me show you how you can change the traction. So what you want to do is you want to go drop down your wheels in your chassis. Then you want to select all the wheels. Now you want to go down in properties until you find custom physical properties. Make sure it's ticked or otherwise this won't work. So once you've got it ticked, all I can say to do straight away is set elect. Oh my god, I cannot speak today. Um, elasticity. You know what? Let's just forget it. Set this to zero, always, or otherwise it won't move. And here is an example. Actually, let me show you. I'm holding down. It'll, it'll be very slow sometimes. I don't know why it's working, to be honest. But just set it to zero. It's per safe and sorry. Just like. So, um, I would say for grip, you just actually use these maybe. Or set this to like 0.3 for grip. And then. Let's say you wanted to do um, drift. What I would say is try and put these lower. So, like 0 0.17 and 0 0.1, maybe. Let me try that. Obviously it's not as easy when it's not on like an actual drift tune. But I'll go and get myself out a drift tune, like an actual one. Um, let's have a look at the values for these. So, this is a standard drift tune. Let's have a look at the properties. 
Okay, so uh, normally you'd set friction apparently according to the tune. You set friction to 0 0.27 for some reason, and then you would set the density to 0 0.01 on all wheels. I believe. I believe in it. Yeah, so do that. And now it's true. Probably not gonna work well because, as I said earlier, it isn't really made for drifting this shoe. It's just a default HS. So, yeah, it isn't gonna really drift around. So, yeah, that's the tutorial. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Also, also the game's release date has been changed. Well, not again, but as you can see here, it's gonna release on the 15th of the 11th, 2020, and that's English, not um, American. Because this would be the month, and that would be the date. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.